Mac, PC, or Chromebook? Rich Jamiro takes a look at some of the latest laptops in today's TechSmart. There are lots of laptops to choose from. Recently, I've been testing out four models, each with distinct advantages. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 5 combines a great design with a keyboard that's comfortable and fast to type on. It runs Windows 11 with a touchscreen. I like how it unlocks with your face and the battery is rated for up to 17 hours. You get both standard and USB-C connections along with a headphone jack. Surface Laptop 5 starts at $1,000 and comes in various colors. Did you know that Samsung makes laptops as well? The company recently unveiled a top-of-the-line Galaxy Ultra laptop. I've been impressed with the new Galaxy Book 3 Pro. The laptop has a sleek design and is super lightweight. It runs Windows on a beautiful screen and the battery seems to last forever. I just wish it was touchscreen. The laptop has full-size USB along with two USB-C plus HDMI for connecting to a TV or external monitor. There's also a fingerprint reader and a micro SD memory card slot. The new Galaxy Book 3 Pro starts at $1,450. If you want an inexpensive Chromebook that can handle it all, check out the Acer 514. The design and screen aren't as premium as the others, but with this, you don't have to worry about viruses and the Chrome software is super easy to update. The battery is a champ at up to 15 hours and the touch screen is useful. If you mostly use basic apps and the web, this is a great choice starting at $500. Finally, my personal upgrade, the MacBook Pro M2. This features one of Apple's fastest processors and it shows. The laptop can handle the toughest tasks with ease. You get three USB-C ports along with HDMI, a full-size memory card slot, fingerprint reader, and amazing battery life. The webcam is way improved over previous models, but I could definitely do without this notch. MacBook Pro is best if you're creating audio, video, or photo content. Otherwise, MacBook Air is a good choice. Apple's laptops start at $1,000, but you can always consider a tablet if you're most interested in consuming content, like streaming video, news, and email. I'm Rich Demuro, and you are tech smart. Awesome. We're just talking, talking about tablets. Rich's story. Yeah, my daughter, my younger daughter is, uh, you know, freshman in college. They prefer the tablet because you can buy the little keypads for yeah. it if you need it, but yep. it's a little more portable. Yeah, and they can get it. They do a little more with it. You still prefer the big old, just uh, the desktop. Yeah, I know the big one. <laughs> Actually, I do very little on a computer. I know. I use my phone for just. About just, I think that's why uh, most people do. Anyway, uh, you know, it's all about the younger generation. Whatever they wear, that's what's driving every or whatever right. they use. That's use, what's yeah. driving everything.